Uh, Sam, as they, as they say in all the best football interviews, tale of two halves. Um, first half pretty good, second half rather less so. Uh, yes, first half I was, well, we were delighted at half time. I thought we bowled well, I thought we assessed conditions, I thought we played the right team. Um, I think second half we the plans were there, but I think we just got outskilled. Let's talk a bit about the surface because obviously um, a T20 game you don't normally expect to what 244 game runs for 19 wickets in a, in a match. Um, your thoughts on it? Well, it's, uh, it's it is what it is. You know, it's it's an old pitch. It's a week old. It's the third game that's on it. There've been two high-scoring games. It's a hybrid, but it's a week old, and there's well, I think there was three international spinners in there too. Um, so yeah, it was used. I thought we assessed conditions right. We played the right team. We it played how we thought it would. I think hindsight is, you know, our power play, we bowled a bit more seam, which was, which was fine at the time. And then obviously the, the hindsight of the second innings, they get to say, we're going to take pace off pretty much straight away. And, the, you know, the ball, what was it, 16 overs of spin or something? Out of 17. Um, so look, that was the difference. They got, there were 30 in front of us in the power play, and then we, we just looked like we didn't have any answers going in against high quality spin. What was the, the plan? Obviously, a short chase, as we know, in any sort of white ball cricket can be tricky. What was the thinking? What was the plan, uh, particularly for the power play at the, at the start of the reply? The plan was to take strong options and play strong cricket shots, have a look and play how we always do. Um, you know, if Linney gets in and gets going, he's going to take teams on. I thought Emilio started beautifully against the team, a couple of strong shots, got us going. And then spin came on and it was a different story. So uh, I thought the plans were there, the plans were good, but I think we've We've been outskilled. To look at the positive side of it, Freddie Heldrick again is having a, a terrific run. Ten wickets now in, in three games, four for tonight's best T20 figures. Alex Russell uh, also very good, save save likewise. So some positives to take out of the game. Yeah, absolutely, some positives. They, they were great. Good to see those two wrist spinners bowling in tandem. It's, it's exciting. We've you know we've spoke about getting them in and, and when we can get them in. They might have been. Other times to get him in, that's fine, but tonight we, we you know we made the right call getting him in. So great to see, you know, there are some positives. I thought the ball beautifully, I thought the fielding was good tonight. We caught all our catches for the first time in the season, which, you know, which is remarkable really. But look, we were happy at half time. We got we, we, we fell short because we were up to the task of playing high quality spin and a pitch that offered spin. But look, you know, I can handle that, I can handle tonight. It was we all kind of just set up there, but I think now it's you know, you look at the, the, the bigger picture and after eight games, it, it, it reflects where you're at as a group. It reflects the level of skill. It reflects, you know, the, the table doesn't lie and we're, we're down the bottom fighting now. Look, we still believe that we can get on a bit of form and momentum. And there's five games in eight days, you know, after a little break. If you get momentum and you get confidence up, it, you know, anything's possible. But I think in this first eight games and then even before that in Champo, I think, you know, the two tables don't lie and... and just set up there to the lads if, if the game could talk to you what would it tell you and I think it's time to reflect and then some guys have to dig deep work hard on their games and upskill pretty quick in that sense is the break now a week before Lancashire come to Wantage Road uh, perhaps actually quite useful it is yeah after this I mean look it's been a tough period it comes thick and fast we had a four or five day road trip up to Worcester and Durham and that and it does take its toll lads got back at two o'clock in the morning something like that and then obviously when you're out of form you come in and train, so the rest is not there. But look, it's, it is what it is, that's part of the game, it's what you sign up for, so there's, there's no excuses there. But this is a little opportunity to have a two or three day break, switch off from the game for all of us, coaches, players, which will be nice if, if, if we can switch off. But then I think we have to put in some serious yards to upskill very quickly and try and get some confidence. The belief is there. There's a difference with confidence and belief. Confidence can fluctuate a little bit, but as long as the belief stays true, then, then you've got a chance. So the belief is there from everybody. You know, look around the room and they've got experience of high, high performances. So the belief is there, but you know, there's, there's a few guys a bit short of confidence at the minute, and it, and it shows. So finally, six games to go. I know you're going to tell me that obviously you want to win all six of them. Um, do you have a figure in mind? Might five be enough? It might be. I mean, it's it's a group that's incredibly close. Everyone's beating each other, and you know, teams have got off to a horrendous start, and now they're up at the top. It shows you what momentum can do if you get that confidence and that belief. So, six out of six is what we've got to aim for. Five might do it. Four might sneak in through something. But look, we just have to start playing some better, consistent cricket.
Um, we have to be able to adapt our games in different conditions like tonight. You can't just smack it out of the park on a flat one at Monty's Road, you know. And we found one in at Durham, and we found one in here. Um, and it's a bit of a bit of a trend, so we need to upskill pretty quick.